to encourage investments towards the attainment of sustainable forest management. Forestry Investment Portfolio Approach, or PIPA, was adopted through the issuance of Department Administrative Order 2021-04, or the Guidelines in the Implementation of PIPA, which was signed last March 16, 2021. This is also in support of several forestry policies, especially pertaining to doing business and efficient government service delivery. The Forestry Investment Portfolio Approach is a strategy in the development of investment portfolio packages or plans on potential forestry businesses in order to facilitate and encourage development capital in forestry in the form of investment from the private sector towards the attainment of sustainable forest management. It was conceptualized to address the following. The tedious process of securing documentary requirements, the overlapping plans and their inconsistencies or net occurrence with national and local priority plans. Also, it addresses the non compliant investment plans to government rules and regulations and the formulation of science based and area specific plans. The DNR Administrative Order No. 2021-04 provides the basic procedures and requirements in the implementation of PIPA. Its general objective is to operationalize PIPA in the development of forestry-related projects that encourage private sector investments in forestry. Its specific objectives are develop and make available the forest investment portfolio packages, Efficient processing or securing of tenure instruments and its documentary requirements. Provision of technical assistance. Ensure forestry projects are in line with national and local priority plans. And establish and strengthen linkages among stakeholders. Scope and coverage. This order shall cover untenured production forest lands with forest land use plan or flu. This shall also offer a forestry investment portfolio package which shall include the following. First is the forestry investment development plan. Second are the documentary requirements such as certificate of non-overlap, certificate of non-coverage, local government unit endorsement, and others. And also, it includes a draft appropriate tenure instrument. Now, let us differentiate PIPA from the existing approach. In terms of survey, mapping, assessment, and planning, DNR's limited role, particularly in site identification and mapping, was expounded through PIPA. In this approach, the DNR with concerned agencies and stakeholders shall undertake all the preparatory activities such as SMAP, identification of potential projects or investments, and feasibility study, among others. In terms of securing documentary requirements, through FIPA, the DNR in coordination with concerned agencies shall secure the necessary documentary requirements. While for the formulation of development plans, the applicant does not need to prepare the development plan since through FIPA, it is the DNR who shall prepare the set plans and develop investment packages. But remember that PIPA is just one of the investment strategies and does not replace the existing approach in the newer application. Now, let us define a few terms in the set administrative board. The development plan for PIPA is the Forestry Investment Development Plan or FIDP. It is an individual plan of forestry investment projects for best potential use of an area such as forest plantation, cattle grazing, ecotourism outside NIPAS areas, and other ecosystem services. It also describes the nature of the business, sales and marketing strategy, the schedule of return of investments, internal rate of return, initial investment requirement, and financial background. Also, it includes the projected profit and loss statement. The Forestry Investment Portfolio Package or FIPP 
refers to a package consists of investment development plan with necessary documentary requirements in the issuance of the new instrument and draft appropriate the instrument. Now, let us go to the potential investment areas or PIAs or projects that can be explored and incorporated in the FIPPP. Remember that we can include the following but not limited to forest plantations such as timber, non-timber, fuel wood or biomass, and high value crops. It may also include cattle grazing, ecotourism outside NIFAS areas, and projects dependent on providing other forest ecosystem services. Remember that a combination of any of these PIAs may be allowed depending on the biophysical characteristics of the area and appropriate land use described in the FIP. For projects located in e-NIFAS areas, particularly in multiple use zones, and those not included in the potential investment categories as mentioned earlier, it shall be governed by the existing rules and regulations including Protected Area Management Board for PAMV endorsements. Now, as an overview, the FIPO process comprises the following. First is the creation of the Forestry Investment Review Committee and the FIPA Technical Working Group for FIPP preparation, followed by the assessment phase, securing of the documentary requirement phase, formulation phase, and packaging phase. Next is the review and approval of the Forestry Investment Portfolio Package, bidding and awarding of the approved FIPP, approval of Forest Tenure Instrument phase, and lastly, the implementation phase. Please take note that securing documentary requirements and formulation phases may be done simultaneously. In this administrative order, the Regional Executive Director shall create the FIRC or the Forestry Investment Review Committee who shall oversee the FIPP preparation, review, and recommend its approval to the REM. There shall also be a FIPA technical working group whose functions are to identify and assess PS, prepare FIDP, and endorse it to the FIRC for vetting, secure the necessary clearances and endorsement, prepare the FIPP, and endorse it to the FIRC for review and approval, monitor regularly project implementation, and carry out other necessary tasks. Let us now go to the procedures in the implementation of FIPA. The preparation of a Forestry Investment Portfolio Package or FIPP shall include four phases. The assessment phase, securing of documentary requirements phase, formulation phase, and packaging phase. In the assessment phase, the FIPA Technical Working Group shall identify an area with potential for investment based on FLUP and other development plans of the LGU concern. They shall also be conducting a survey, mapping, assessment, and planning to determine availability and suitability of the area for the investment project. They shall also identify potential investment projects and possible tenure instruments to be issued. Further, the FIPA Technical Working Group shall conduct a feasibility study for financial and economic analysis. Technical and social and institutional aspects would also be noted of the project. And lastly, they would be comparing and choosing the best investment or combination to be approved by the RED as endorsed by the PETRA. While for the securing of the documentary requirements phase, the FIPA Technical Working Group shall secure the following. First is an endorsement from the concerned LGU, a CNO from the NCIP or the National Commission on Indigenous Peoples, CNC or Certificate of Non-Coverage from the Environmental Management Bureau, and in cases that the area is in Palawan, they would be securing a strategic environmental plan from the Palawan Council for Sustainable Development. For investment areas needing environmental compliance certificate, 
and or free and prior informed consent or certificate of precondition. This shall be secured by the proponent or the winning bidder. The DNR would be providing the necessary technical assistance to the proponent. For the third step in the formulation phase, the FIPA Technical Working Group shall prepare the FIPP together with recommendations and the plan should be consistent with existing national and local development plans and also management plans. Lastly, in the packaging phase, the FIPA Technical Working Group shall prepare the Forestry Investment Portfolio Package which shall include the FIDP, documentary requirements, and the draft appropriate forest tenure instrument. Once the tenure is approved and awarded to the proponent, the said proponent shall secure the ECC from EMB and certificate of precondition from the NCIP if needed by the type of project. After all procedures have been done, we will now be proceeding to the review and approval of the FIPP. The FIPA Technical Working Group shall forward the FIPP to the FIRC for review and endorsement to the RED for approval. The RED shall provide clearance for approval before meeting of the investment package by the regional office. Once approved with the RED, the FIPP shall be offered to interested and qualified parties through public bidding. The bid floor price shall be based on the actual cost incurred in the development of the package. The winning bidder shall be the one who offers the highest bid. The bidding and awarding of the approved FIPP shall have the following activities. 1. The Registry of Investment Area shall be established by DNR, Region, Pendro, and Cedro. It will include the FIPA package documents and be made available through DNR website, public notices posted at DNR Regional, Pendro, and Centro offices, and at the Provincial, Municipal, and Barangay offices. 2. Creation of FIPA Screening and Awards Committee or FIPA Center. The RED shall create a FIPA Screening and Awards Committee who shall be responsible for the proper receipt, recording, safekeeping, and evaluation of pre-qualification and bid financial proposals pertaining to potential FIPA packages. They shall also be conducting and recommend the award of the FIPA package. For the bidding procedures, qualified applicants are the following. Filipino citizen of legal age, Association, corporation, or partnership, or a juridical person at least 60% of the capital of which by Filipino citizens, whether public or private, duly created and or registered under Philippine laws, which is financially capable or has the capability to mobilize finances to develop the area applied for PIPA. Prospective bidders shall be invited to pre qualify to bid over available FIPA areas through public invitation or public announcement. For submission of documents or pre qualification requirements, all requirements that you can see on your screen shall be submitted in five copies together with pre qualification documents in sealed envelopes at the DNR Regional Office concerned not later than the time and date specified in the invitation to pre-qualify. For the bidding fee, the cost of bidding documents shall correspond to the approved and affirmed cost of forest investment portfolio package range as presented in the table on your screen. For the evaluation of pre-qualification requirements, the FIPA SAC shall evaluate the documents taking into account the completeness of requirements. And as an action on application documents, prospective bidders who met all the requirements shall be considered as pre-qualified, while those who did not are disqualified. In receiving and opening bids, the FIPA SAC chairperson shall open the sealed bids publicly at the place, date, and time stated in the notice. 
this shall be attended by bidders or their duly authorized representatives. As a basis of award, the one with the highest speed shall be awarded with the area subject of the bid. In case there are two or more equal bids, another sealed bidding shall be conducted between and among those who submitted equal bids. And for the decision of award, based on the review and evaluation report of PIPASAC, the red shall render the decision through a resolution which shall state the name of the winning bidder and issuance of the notice of award. In the event of two failed biddings, the PIPASAC can now enter into a negotiated treaty. For the approval of forest tenure instrument, upon acceptance by the winning bidder, applicable forest tenure instruments shall be issued in accordance with existing guidelines. In the implementation phase, the winning bidder may incorporate changes to the FIDP. Just within 90 days, Upon receipt of award notice, the investor shall submit the revised FIDP to the DNR Regional Office concerned for review and approval. Otherwise, the winning bidder shall start implementing the activities within the FIDP. Now we go to the last provisions of the administrative board. For the monitoring and evaluation, the regional office shall conduct regular monitoring of the PIPA project and shall submit annual report to the DNR secretary. Copy furnish the FAB. The DNR through the Forest Management Bureau shall develop continuing program on capacity building for the regional offices. The DNR shall allocate funds for the implementation of the activities and the regional office shall prepare and submit their respective work and financial plans to be incorporated in the General Appropriations Act or GATA. And that's all for the DNR Administrative Order 2021-04 or the guidelines in the implementation of the Forest Investment Portfolio Approach or FIBA. Remember that together we grow, we should invest now.